Hello. Merry Christmas, everyone. How are you guys doing? It is Christmas Day when you're watching this. It is late on Christmas Eve. And I said that I was going to vlog all throughout the day, but I ended up spending uh, the entire day with my husband other than two videos that I filmed. So um, I didn't have time to vlog throughout the day. And he wasn't really in the mood to be on a vlog, I don't think. So, um... I just was like, I'll film it later. This won't be a super long vlog tonight. It will probably be the, the shortest vlog I've done in like the last six months, honestly. I, I don't know, we'll see. I don't know how long it's gonna be. It is currently 4.09 a.m. Um, we left my in-laws at like 3.15 or 3.20 in the morning. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can still go over and check out my Instagram stories and you can see the craziness that ensued tonight. I have the most fun in-laws in the entire world. They're so fun. So um, let me tell you about my day and then I will tell you about uh, Christmas Eve tonight and everything and um, my Christmas Eve. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas. I wanna say this before um, I filmed this vlog so I don't forget to say it. There were so many people that reached out to me in DMs and on email today that thanked me for my videos and especially this vlog. And a lot of people um, said that they're at home alone for Christmas this year and that my videos and my vlogs really cheer them up. I just want you to know how much that means to me. Um, you know, honestly, if I could invite you guys over to our house for Christmas, I would. And if you go watch my Instagram story, you can see that they invited many, many people over there. And I would just love to have a big party with everybody that doesn't have somebody to spend the holidays with, you know? So, um, I just want you to know I'm thinking of you. And it, it means so much to me that my videos were able to cheer you up a little bit. On my main channel today, I did a rant, a Christmas rant, which I still, to this day, I don't understand, like, <laughs> how people don't understand that they are supposed to be humorous. I even have in the description box listed, this is meant to be funny. And yet, people still comment on it, and they take it so seriously. And I'm like, okay, like, you need to chill for a little, this is humorous. Like, I don't get this heated about things, obviously. Definitely not about my cousin making macaroni and cheese. That's not something that would get me really heated. Um, so, you know, anyway, but I did that video specifically today because I wanted to cheer people up and I knew the people that would get it as a joke, you know, it might bring them some laughter or so. And, um, yeah, anyway, so today we got up and, um, like I said, I, I didn't really have anything to do and neither did Alex. All we had to do was wrap our presents, um, because we had... Uh, well, there's kind of a funny story about the toys because we I had done all my shopping and he had too So all we had to do was wrap our presents um, Alex had like when I told him about the toys that I got the kids. He was like uh, Carlitos already has those whole cans. There are these like huge whole cans He was like Carlitos already has those I think and he was like I think he might have some of the other stuff So why don't we take it back and I said you want to take it back to Meyer on Christmas Eve? And he goes, well, we can try it. The lines won't be that long. I said, have you ever been Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve, Alex? Like at the places like the Meyer and the Walmart and Target and stuff, it's packed. So anyway, but <laughs> it was cute of him to think otherwise. And it ended up being kind of fun because we walked all over the store and got, we got some junk food for the house tomorrow. So while we're watching movies and stuff. Oh, that's what I have to talk about. Oh my God, I did my way in today. Um, hold on a second. Okay, so this is a tea that somebody sent me last year and I never drank it last year. And it was, uh, it's some Christmassy tea that somebody um, sent me. And um, so it was sitting up in my cabinet and I opened my cabinet tonight because I wanted to make some tea. Like I was gonna make some sleepy time tea or some chamomile, chamomile tea um, for like, because I have literally been with my in-laws. We got there at 7.30 and we left at 3.15, so you do the math, but it was a very long evening and it was loud music the entire time, dancing. It was a lot of fun, but I'm like ready for some silence a little bit. So this vlog is actually good for me. It's gonna help me unwind a little bit. Um, but I wanted to make some like kind of soothing tea. And so I opened the cabinet and this Christmas tea was sitting right there. And I was like, I didn't even open that last year because I just, I didn't. And so I had saved it. And so I made it and it is absolutely delicious. You guys, it is, it tastes like, 
it said like it was like mint and some spices and stuff. It reminds me, I, this is gonna sound so crazy, but it's like Christmas. It's like you would stop at some little store, you know, in this like English countryside and get a cup, a cup of hot tea to go and you're walking through some snowy little town, you know, Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve with this cup of tea. That's what it tastes like. It's so delicious. And it's caffeine free, which is good because I've had a lot of caffeine tonight. Um, so I woke up today and I weighed myself and I could hardly believe it. I weighed in at one, or God, I wish, <laughs> 218.6, which is the lowest I've been since I've been on this diet. Um, since I originally started at 246, whatever, I looked to see what the weight was. Since I originally started, not on the YouTube start, but before that, I have lost, I think, like 28 pounds, which is incredible. I can't believe it. And I was so happy because I had, like, cheated earlier this week, two days, and I was just plateauing, and I was really struggling this week. So, I didn't gain any. I lost from last week, I weighed in at 219. So uh, this week I was 0.4 pounds lower, which isn't fantastic, but I'm still moving low. I'm still going down, which is important to me. So I'm very, I was so excited about that because I really thought that I might gain a pound or two. And when I got on the scales this morning, I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. So um, we, and I, and I, ate crap today, tonight, but I didn't eat that much considering, because I'll, I'll explain to you why in a second. So, um, so we went to Cafe Patashu for brunch today. It was like dead. There was nobody there. Cause I, we got up and I said, well, what do you want to do? And he goes, I don't care. Do you have any last minute shopping to do? And I was like, well, I mean, we could go, if you really want to go to Meyer, we could do that. I said, I don't really have any other shopping. And to be honest with you, I don't want to just go and start spending money because at the last minute I'm getting excited for Christmas, which is kind of what I do at the last minute. I'm like, well, I want to get this and I want to get that and blah, 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 whatever. Right. And so, um, we, uh, so we, I said, do you want to go to brunch? And he's like, yeah, brunch would be fun. So we went to brunch and, um, we, we've decided that we're going to watch some movies tomorrow after we get back from my cousin Caroline's, which I can just tell you, I'm probably all ready for a nap right now. We won't be over there that long. It starts at, we're going over to my cousin's at two and we'll probably be home by like 530, something like that. I can't imagine we'll be any later than that. And then we're going to watch some movies tomorrow night. Probably like he wants to watch The Nun and then he said, you, I could pick whatever I wanted to pick. And I said, I want to watch Life of the Party with M Melissa, um, Melissa McCarthy. So if you guys have any good movies that are out on DVD that you've watched that you think are really, really good, will you let me know in the comment section below? And then um, if there's one movie that consistently people talk about, you know, I'll watch. So, or we'll watch this tomorrow night. Anyway, I, uh, let's see. Oh, so we went to brunch and it was so fun and it was just very, like, there was only like five or six people that were, I mean, you know, little tables that were taken. And it was all regulars. It was all people that we always see in there on Sundays. And it was funny because our waitress was like, you guys are never in here on any other day than a Sunday. I was like, I know. And, um, cause I said to Alex, I said, are you sure you want to go to Cafe Patashu again? We just were here yesterday. He goes, I could eat Cafe Patashu every day. So we went, we got the exact same thing we got yesterday and it was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. And I ate the entire thing today. I ate the whole omelet. I ate all my potatoes. I ate the bagel with cream cheese and uh, blueberry jelly. It was so good and I had coffee and this is so hilarious because of my review video that I did the other day I did um, Comparing Starbucks peppermint mocha to gas station peppermint mocha it's, uh, If you haven't seen it go watch my review, but I said I never get those like I never drink that So when you, at Cafe Patashu they have like four or five different kinds of coffee They have like two decafs and then like three regulars. And they always have like their Patashu blend, which is like their classic blend. They have that in regular and decaf. And then they have like a decaf that's like some kind of different flavor or you know, something. And then they have two regulars. Well, they had their Christmas blend today. Yesterday it was gingerbread. Um, and today it was peppermint mocha. Is that not hilarious? I actually still have it right here because I didn't finish it. Why? Because I'm not a big peppermint mocha fan. But it really, it was the best out of the three and it wasn't even, it was just like a flavored coffee. Here, this is so cold and dead by this point because it's, I've been drinking it since I eat one o'clock this afternoon. 
mocha and still tastes like peppermint mocha. I mean, it's not bad. It tastes really pepperminty, not so mocha-ish, but it's really, it's not bad. Like, I wouldn't want to drink it every day, but for Christmas, it was kind of fun. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you got to have something Christmassy, I guess. So anyway, and then after that, we went to Meyer to return these toys. And when we got to the parking lot, Alex was like, <laughs> He was like, well, what are you wanting to return? And I go, well, you wanted to return all this stuff because you said that they have all these things. And he goes, yeah, I think maybe just the whole cans because the whole cans were like $9.99. And um, so I go, well, if we're just going to return the whole cans, let's just leave them in the car. Because he saw the parking lot and the parking lot was packed. And he knew that we were going to be waiting in line forever. So I was like, well, I'll just buy them something else. And then we can return the whole cans at another time. He was like, okay. So we go in there and we're getting different stuff. And he had to get wine and champagne for tonight. And so we were getting junk food for tomorrow too. We got cinnamon rolls because I like to have cinnamon rolls on Christmas morning. And so does he. So we got, they had great cinnamon rolls at Meyer. They were like tons of frosting and stuff. There was like four in a pack. They looked delicious. And, um. Then we got pizza rolls and frozen pizzas for tomorrow night. And yeah, and so it was funny because we were looking through the toys and Alex was like, I don't know, like, you know, what they would want. And I said, um, well, I, so I texted Liliana and I texted Carlos and I said, hey, like, wh what do you, the kids want that you didn't get them? And I'm like sitting there like walking up and down the aisles and they're not texting me back. And Alex is like, they don't ever text back, just call them. <laughs> so he calls uh, Carl, or he called Liliana. You guys are gonna, you're gonna love this, right? What did I, what did I predict on this? So he calls Liliana and um, he said, hey, what's something that the kids want that, um, that you guys didn't get, that you guys didn't get them? And she goes, Nintendo Switch games and he goes what do you mean and she goes well we ended up getting Carlitos Alex goes did you get him the Nintendo Switch and she's like yeah we ended up getting the Nintendo Switch so he needs games for it, it comes with all these games so apparently he needs games for it too right so Alex got off the phone and, and he was like they got him the Nintendo Switch I said I knew they would I said there's because I think they feel very similar to me. You know, they don't want him to, like, not believe in Santa Claus anymore. And kind of what happened tonight was really cute, honestly. So, um... <laughs> so, I was like, okay, whatever. I can't believe that I stressed out about that damn Nintendo uh, Switch over all that kind of stuff. And Alex goes, well, Carlos said that if you really wanted to help out with it, you could have done that. I go, that's not what you said. You told me that. He said not to get it. And Alex just started laughing. He was like, yeah, I just didn't think that you needed to spend that kind of money. I, I go, oh, so you didn't want me getting it. He goes, it doesn't matter. He's getting a Nintendo Switch, so he'll be happy about it. And um, so anyway, that was cute. So then we did that, and then we came home, and Alex was like, I am so tired. I want to take a nap. And I go, okay. And I said, I just want to film this rant video really quick. And then, um, so I dropped him off, and I went back out, and I filmed the rant video. I came home. I uploaded it. And then I had bought this Santa hat. We had so much fun trying on these Santa hats at Meyer, Alex, and I did. There was this one elf hat that had these ears, and the ears danced. Have you guys seen this at, like, Walmart or anything? It's so hilarious. But it was, like, $30, and I was like, I'm not buying $30. 30, this 30, I have so many props in my garage. I was like, I'm not buying a $30 hat for uh, a YouTube video that's 10 minutes long. Because I was reviewing the Christmas Chronicles on uh, my review channel. I love that channel so much. I'm having so much fun with that review channel. If you guys like that channel, let me know in the comment section below. I swear I'm not going to be doing food forever on there, okay? It's just food is really easy and I like to eat. So it gives me the opportunity to try stuff that I want to try. But I do want to do like the as seen on TV stuff. The thing is, is that when I go there and I look at all the as seen on TV stuff, I thought it would be so much easier. This stuff, A, is really expensive. I mean, I mean, not a hundred dollars, but it's some of the stuff's like thirty to sixty, seventy dollars, and a lot of it is stuff that I would never use. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I don't want to buy it just for this video and then never use it again. I want to make sure it's stuff that I want to use. You know what I mean? So anyway, hold on a second. Is so fantastic. Whoever sent this to me, I thank you. But um, I wish I remember, but it was a year ago. So Alex came home and literally was like out. I mean, I I was gone 
I don't know if it took me a ha if it took me 20 to minutes to a half an hour to film that rant video and I came right back. Oh, I also filmed a little video for my Facebook tomorrow too. So go over and check my Facebook out. It's a it's a little saucy. <laughs> it's a little uh, it's a little saucy over there. But anyway, um, it's like one of those little funny things I do on the Facebook. But. I came home and he was completely crashed out and the dogs were, it was so cute. I went upstairs and all the dogs were laying in a row in the end of the bed. It was so sweet. And um, so I was like, the heat is like really hot in here tonight. So anyway, um, so I went downstairs and then I filmed the Christmas Chronicles video and then I got that stuff done and then I uploaded and then um, I literally just kind of laid down with him for like a half an hour and um, that was about it. And um, so then we started getting ready to go over to my in-laws house and like he took a shower, I took a shower, we got ready, got the videos uploaded and everything and fed the dogs and did all that kind of stuff took them out and then we left and we got over there about 7 30. it was earlier than that actually because we were supposed to be there at seven and we were running about 10 minutes late which was interesting because my husband has to be everywhere like exactly on time and um that's weird that that gas station is closed for the night that gas station is never closed there's only like speedways that are open but anyway um Notoriously with his family, Alex is always like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We have to be there on time. We have to be there on time. And we get there and literally like, uh, like, <laughs> like his mom is like this. If we're supposed to be somewhere at seven, she shows up easily at 815, which she did tonight. <laughs> so, and so did everybody else. Like we literally were the earliest ones there and Liliana's sister is visiting from Venezuela right now and they were in the kitchen cooking and they were literally in shorts and a t-shirt and Liliana's like you guys got here early we haven't even gotten dressed yet and I go Alex said it starts at 7 and Carlos goes well it does start at 7 but we're just I was like I we were rushing our asses to get here on time so we literally sat around forever and then I said to Alex I said I am going to go to the gas station and I'm going to get a Dr. Pepper because I want to have a fountain pop and um, I'm breaking my diet anyway. So if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it today. He goes, okay. So I went out and then like, literally I walked back through the door as he was calling me and cause they had set up like this huge bar in the kitchen and I was like, who is coming over, <laughs> Carlos? I said, I thought it was just us. And he's like, oh yeah. And then I invited, they have these two brothers that they're friends with that, um, one of them is married and like she was living in Miami and so she just moved up here and then they lived with, the two brothers lived with Carlos and Liliana for, they were I think in my vlogs last Christmas. They look identical, like identical twins, but they're not. So anyway, they're literally like six years apart. <laughs> and so now it's like the two brothers and the one brother's wife live in a house like two streets away they're really nice so he was like i just invited them and i was like oh okay that'll be fun and there was um this guy that carlos works with and his wife and their son who is exactly uh carlitos litos's age because they used to go to the same preschool together and they're there at a lot of family things so they were there because they don't have family here in town so um that was it and i was like what is this huge, I mean, this bar was like, <laughs> it, it looked like it was hosting a party of 100, okay? Well, <laughs> I should have known. Well, let me get to this part first. Okay, so anyway, so we get there, we're sitting there. So as soon as I come back in from going to get this Dr. Pepper, I'm literally like, Alex is calling me as I'm walking through the door. And he goes, oh, I was just trying to get a hold of you. And I said, what's going on? And it was like 7.50. And he goes, um... I was gonna see if you could stop at the grocery store and get some jalapenos for spicy margaritas and also some hummus and some chips. And I was like, okay, well, I, I mean, it's, the grocery store's like two minutes away and I wanted some hummus and some chips anyway. And I was like, I can go back out, that's fine. And he goes, okay, do you mind? And I was like, no, not at all. He's like, is there anything else you want? And they're like, no, just go, you know, whatever. If there's anything you want, just get it. So I go to the grocery store and literally as I pull up, they're closing. So I go back and, um, we're sitting around and then Liliana and her sister changed and the kids came down and they were being real fun and um, Carlitos and his little friend, the, the other couple that were over there, okay, they literally 
played all night long. They were doing Legos. They put these Legos together. I mean, box after box after box of Lego. I was so worn out, okay? Like, I had so much fun, but literally, at like seven, eight hours of constant karaoke and dancing, I kind of was a little bit like, okay, I need some peace and quiet right now, right? Carlitos, who is six, and his friend that is six, they literally sat in the entryway between like the staircase where the, the Christmas tree was and the, uh, what do you call it? The little, they have a playroom there with all their toys. They literally sat there almost the entire night and put Legos together. I told Alex, I said, they are so well behaved. And Sebastian, Okay, so Santa Claus comes at midnight. I've talked about that, right? And he drops all of his presents over. Sebastian, at about 10.30, starts wailing and crying. This is my godson, okay? <laughs> Carlitos is Alex's godson. This is my godson. He starts wailing and crying and stuff. And Liliana's like, he's not going to make it to Santa Claus. And this is the first year that he really gets it, right? The entire night, he... Uh, after that, he slept on the couch in the living room, literally the entire night, from like 10.30 to 3, whenever we left. He was just completely crashed out. It was so sweet. So anyway, um, so Alex's mom and uncle show up, and then another, these the, the brothers and the wife and all that kind of stuff. And so we have dinner, and we had, I think it's pronounced Hayakas, and it's like, it's wrapped in this like these leaves and then you cut the leaves off and it's like yellow underneath it and um, okay it's so weird you guys my very like my very first boyfriend who he and like I am friends with him on like some social media and he is um, dating somebody that's Venezuelan how weird is that okay we're totally civil to each other and we don't live anywhere near each other now but anyway um, so he posted a picture of them having Hayakas and he was like having a, you know, typical Venezuelan dinner. They just started dating like six months ago, I think. But he was like having a typical Venezuelan dinner of Hayakas or whatever. And I was like, <laughs> I, I put underneath it. I was like, this is hilarious. We are too. So anyway, um, but, uh, so we had dinner and Liliana got ordered me like a vegetarian one. It wasn't even really vegetarian. It just didn't have any meat and it. it was just like solid like corn. And um, then every other thing was meat. There was like this chicken, the chicken salad that I love. There was ham. There was some other kind of meat. Everything was meat, okay? There was nothing else. So I literally had one, this one Hayaka thing, okay? Um, which, Oh, Alex's friend Sarah, his best friend came by too because they exchanged presents. She only stayed for like an hour, but so she was sitting there while we were eating. But I have to say, I wouldn't uh, say this thing is the most delicious thing in the entire world. It was fun being part of it, but I don't think I would ever order it at a menu like in my entire life. I would never order it. I didn't like love it <laughs> at all. Um, and so I was completely hungry through the rest of the night. And they had like this cheese, this cranberry cheese at the on the counter. So I was eating that. And then they had this... Liliana makes this like corn salsa. It is fantastic. And um, so I was eating that with chips. And then somebody had brought just one of those like real cheap, you know, like at the grocery store, it's like uh, the bunt cakes. Do you know what I'm talking about? But it was like try four different kinds and it was like chocolate, socket to me, vanilla, and something else. It was literally sitting in. Okay, it's going to stop. Hold on. I can't believe I've talked that long already. But anyway, um, so it was sitting in front of me at the counter like for three hours, three or four hours. And I finally looked at Liliana and I go, I was so hungry. I had not really eaten anything, right? And here was going to be my big cheat night. And I said, um, do you care if I have some of that cake? Like, are we breaking it out at any point? She's like, yeah, you can have whatever you want to have. I had a few pieces of that cake. Not big pieces, but I had a few pieces and it was delicious. The socket to me cake was, oh my God, so good. So... We're sitting there at the table, and it's about 9.30 or 10, and the doorbell rings, and the, these women that are friends with Alex's mom, they're like two sisters. They like, and their sister is visiting, I guess, but anyway, so they come to a lot of family stuff, like birthdays and whatever. And, um, so they showed in up and the woman walks in and I'm like, she's like, oh, hi. She's like really friendly. And she's like giving us hugs and she's like, Peter, it's so great to see you and blah, 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 whatever. 
And I turn and I look, cause I'm like, it is really chilly. Like who's leaving the door open? And I turn and I look and there's literally, like they brought like 10, 12 people with them. I was like, oh my God. And then it just was people all night long. If you go see my Instagram story, there was literally like 25, 30 people that came in and out of this party all night long. It was fun. But it was like from, I mean, if we ate dinner at eight o'clock, 8.15, and then we were done by 8.30 from like, 8.30 to 3.15, it was constant karaoke, music, singing, dancing the entire time. It was fun, you know? Um, but I'm just like so from the past still so used to very, very quiet Christmases. And it was so funny because I actually put this on my Twitter. Um, when I got there, like, like, I was sitting there on the couch and I was kind of relaxing and Carlos came up and he sat next to me and he said, um, he... Carlos calls me little dude. He was like, how are you doing, little dude? He was like, what's up, little dude? And I was like, uh, which is so funny, because I'm like, you know, 12, 13 years older than him. And, um, but, I mean, he's like the brother I never had, and it's so cool. Fufu, we, oh, Fufu and his girlfriend, we FaceTimed them, too, at midnight when Santa was supposed to come. Um, so, anyway, he was like, and I was like, nothing. I said, I just, I would have liked to have gotten a longer nap tonight because I knew this was going to be a long thing, right? And he goes, dude, he was like, you know the crazy hour doesn't start till three. And I go, what? And he goes, the crazy hour, I think it's called Loco Aura or something like that. He goes, doesn't start until three. That's like, because that's what we do in Venezuela. And I go, what is that? And he goes, well, we sing and we dance and we have like glow sticks and we party from three to four. And I go, and he goes, then at six we make breakfast. And, I, and his mom's standing there and she goes, we're doing breakfast at six and I said oh I won't be here at six in the morning I just won't and she was like you have to stay you have to stay and, I, and Alex goes no we're gonna stick we're not gonna stay that late which was so funny because like Alex was like wide awake like when we were leaving okay so there was like a little table to the side and the two brothers well they were dancing and stuff most of the night but at the very end like the last 20 30 minutes they were sitting there with the one the one guy's wife and I finally said to Alex, I said, I gotta go. I said, I'm getting really tired. I need to kind of like settle down a little bit or I'm gonna be like in bed like this. <laughs> like I'm not gonna be able to go to sleep because like the music is just going so much, you know? Oh, at one point I went to Speedway too. I think this was at about 11 30 11 11 30 i went and i got a 24 ounce coffee because i was like i gotta have something right so anyway i mean they had, they had coke and sprite and stuff like that but i wanted a coffee so um <laughs> it was fun so anyway as soon as we i start i literally put on my coat as soon as i put on my coat all three of them stood up and i go oh are you guys leaving they're like yeah and i looked at the one the wife and i said um I said, were you waiting for us to leave? And she goes, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. So, um, but it was fun. Alex's mom got me a uh, sweater, this gorgeous black v-neck sweater. And Liliana and Carlos got Alex and I both matching pajamas, which are super cute. And, um... So that was that. And then Lil since Sebastian fell asleep, Liliana, I said, well, oh, it was like 10 after 12. And I go, Liliana, I go, Santa Claus was supposed to come 10, 10 minutes ago. She goes, well, Carlitos is really confused. And I go, what is he, oh, this was so funny earlier. So Liliana and Carlos were standing side by side. And I said, Carlos, I said, I thought you said that you weren't gonna buy him the Nintendo Switch. And she, he went like this to Liliana and she looked at me and she said, it was the only thing he asked for and I want him to believe in Santa Claus. I was like, this is it. See, I couldn't be a parent because this is the thing, right? It's total like manipulation on a six year old's part No, But he was so good tonight. And it was so funny because I told, I think I told this joke on here about, they all told him that I have like Santa Claus's number so that I can call Santa Claus if he's not behaving. It all started like a year ago. We were sitting around one day and they were like, Peter has Santa Claus's number. So, uh, messing with the camera. You know, I always do that. Okay, so anyway, um, <clears throat> at one point tonight, Alex and I were like sitting down on the floor, um, down like in the entryway to the playroom area with the kids because uh, they were playing mousetrap. And so Alex was like asking them a bunch of questions and stuff. And um, it was so funny because Sebastian like stood up and like he came over to Carlitos and was like teasing him. And Carlitos' little friend was like, um, 
I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna go tell on him. I'm not gonna tattle, but I'm just gonna tell on him because he shouldn't do that. And um, and I said, Carlitos, I go, now, Sebastian wasn't, he wasn't doing anything wrong and you know that, he was just being playful. And he looked, and Carlitos looked at me and goes, don't call Santa Claus. <laughs> I go, I'm not gonna call Santa Claus. But anyway, then um, they were playing Mousetrap. Do you guys remember that game? And so anyway, uh, Liliana, I said to her, I go, it's like 10 after 12. Like, okay, are we doing Santa Claus? What's going on? And she goes, well, Carlitos is very confused. And I go, why is Carlitos confused? And she was like, well, she was like, at school, all they ever talk about is Santa Claus, you know, coming during the night when you're asleep and then he leaves your presents for you underneath the Christmas tree, you know, whatever. And so... Like, we've been telling him, you know, Santa Claus comes and drops the presents, don't you remember, like, at midnight? And he's like, no. He was like, Santa Claus comes while you're asleep. And, you know, you leave milk and cookies. And then he comes and he leaves the presents by the Christmas tree. And they're trying to keep him to, like, Venezuelan traditions, but he's not buying it anymore, right? So, then tonight, this couple and their son come over, and this is, like, Carlitos' little friend... And they're talking. I guess this happened early because they were there before us. And Liliana overheard them. And Carlitos was like, well, my mom said that um, Santa Claus will fly over at midnight. <laughs> now, think about this, okay? Now, these people, this kid's parents, their toys are at home waiting for Santa Claus to come, okay? Overnight when this kid goes to sleep. <laughs> Carlos and Liliana, all their toys are in the garage ready to be put out in the yard, okay? They didn't, these two couples did not think this through. And uh, at 12.10, when Santa Claus is supposed to be flying over, there's karaoke going crazy in the living room. So, <laughs> this kid, so Carlito says, well, my mommy says that Santa Claus is going to fly over at midnight. <laughs> and so, they go and they ask their moms. And, like, the two moms look at each other. <laughs> and Liliana goes, no, Santa Claus now, he comes after you go to sleep at night and he leaves the presents and he goes, she goes, so we're, that's how it is now. And he goes, well, you told me that he flies over at midnight. And she goes, well, Santa uh, changed his mind or something like that. So anyway, <laughs> or cha cha Santa changed how he's doing things now or something. I don't know. But anyway, so, no, but nobody informed us of that. So like the entire night, I'm like asking this <laughs> Carlitos, I'm like, are you excited for Santa to fly over tonight? And he just looked at me with this real confused look, like every single time, you know? And, um, and I'm trying to play the Venezuelan game here, you know what I mean? It was so hilarious. But those kids were so well behaved all night long. I'm telling you right now, back in the day, if that had been me, I mean, I would have been acting up. Although Caroline and I, I mean, it was kind of similar to the back in the day at our house. This was louder. They like... <laughs> It's just hilarious to me. It's just all of it. It's so much fun, you know, but... They'll literally stay up till like 10 or, 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. I remember last year... And then they'll crash out and go to bed. I remember last year, we went over there to... I don't know why. It must have been later in the day. I think I put that on the vlog, too. We went over there later in the day. Um, that was when they were still living in the apartment. Um, to their on Christmas Day, and they were all, like, so tired. They were, like, so in, uh, uh, Liliana was making a rapist, and they were so tired, and they were, like, could hardly even keep their eyes open, and, uh, I remember when we went home, Alex was, like, I cannot believe they're, so they've been up, like, all this time. They did, like, the karaoke machine at Alex's mom's house till, like, 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. I literally put on my Instagram story, I was standing outside the door, and, um, Okay, I am not having the greatest luck with this camera tonight. I think I need to get a new sticky pad is what. Uh, please don't shut off. Okay. Um, anyway, I went out to my car at one point to go get my phone charger. And um, when I was like coming back from my car, I was like, oh my God, it is so loud. You can hear it out here from the street, right? So I was standing, I put it on my Instagram story. I was like standing in front of the door and I was like, it was hilarious. It was so loud. I, 
was kind of surprised. I'm like, I wonder what their neighbors think about this. But like, they have the nicest neighbors in the entire world. Actually, these one neighbors that live next to them have lived there like the entire time. Like when Alex's mom lived there, and um, they used to come over a lot. They're like a couple that are like my age, and they don't have any kids and stuff. They're super nice. Um, they used to come a lot for like holidays and birthdays and stuff, but they don't really anymore. I don't know why. But they just don't. But we see them from time to time, like when we go over there. Saw them on Halloween. They're really nice people. But anyway. Um, so then the crazy hour, we stayed till the crazy hour and it started at like, well, Alex kept on asking Carlos to move it up because he was like, okay, Peter's getting really tired. We need to get out of here. I'm getting really tired too. And, um, like my husband was starting to crash. I could tell. And, um, I wasn't so tired as I was. Like, I just needed some, like, peace of mind. You know what I mean? Like, it was just so loud. And so, um, so they moved it up. <laughs> and, like, we were waiting. Like, Alex was like, this is really important that we wait for this. Like, they really want us to, I don't even know where, I don't know. They said this is what they do in Venezuela, right? And, um, so I was like, okay, so finally they start doing it, which, they turned all the lights off and they gave us all glow sticks. I literally was like this. <laughs> they gave us glow sticks and have I talked? I did talk about this already, didn't I? I'm like rambling tonight. But anyway, um, and so we were sitting there and they're like just dancing and going crazy and stuff like that. And we're like 20 minutes into it. And I said to Alex, I said, I'm very confused. And he goes, What do you mean? And I go, What is different from this and what we've done for the last seven hours? He goes, Well, they turn the lights off and we have glow sticks and stuff. And I go, what is different from this and what we've done the last 20 hours or seven hours minus uh, the glow sticks and the lights being out? He goes, well, nothing really. I go, yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it was fun. We had a good time. So we stayed for like a half an hour of the crazy hour and then we left. I'm sure they'll go all night long. They all had such a good time, though. Alex's mom was having such a blast. I was so happy for her. <laughs> she was a little tipsy when we left, and I said to her, I go, you're, because her brother left at, like, mid, he, like, waited till, like, 12.05, and then he left, and, um, because that's, like, at 12 o'clock, everybody wishes everybody a Merry Christmas. It's, like, a kind of a big deal. Like, it's different than it is here. Like, you know, like, I've never, like, I, I don't know, like, we don't all go around like New Year's on Christmas Day and like at midnight and wish, you know what I mean? I mean? Maybe your family does. I don't know. I've never done that before. And like at midnight, uh, like Liliana got on the microphone of the karaoke machine and she started talking about it being Christmas and how much it meant to her. And everybody went around and kissed and hugged everybody and said, you know, happy Christmas, happy Christmas and everything to everybody. So that was really nice. That was fun. Um, but then like five minutes later, um, Alex's uncle left and I said to his mom, I said, did uh, Juan leave? already and she was like yeah she was like I can't believe he even made it to 12 and um I said oh okay <laughs> he didn't stay for the crazy hour come on sensor on the road if you really exist I'm gonna go down this way take this little country road country road take me home to a place I belong that house is so pretty for Christmas lights they have all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so yeah, it was fun. It went really quick, actually. I honestly, like, you know, it's interesting. I don't know, like, maybe the culture is so different. Like, I mean, I grew up in a culture of music as well. And I know a lot of words to a lot of songs, but like literally they know every word to every song. Like Alex was sitting there, like he didn't get out, he didn't do karaoke or that kind of stuff. But like every song they sang, like Alex knew every, I go, how do you know all these songs? And he's like, I go, because at the beginning when we first got there, they were playing all these like traditional Venezuelan Christmas songs. And I was like, oh, and he was like, these are traditional, you know, Venezuelan Christmas songs and whatever. And I said, oh, that's cool. But then, like an hour later, I was like, are these still, these don't sound like, these sound like, uh, what's, what's that Gasolina song? You know, I love that. I can't think of what the guy's, of the group's name is now that does that. But, um, Daddy Yankee. I said, this kind of sounds like Daddy Yankee a little bit, that Gasolina song. And he goes, I said, is this traditional Venezuelan Christmas music still? And he goes, oh no. He goes, this is like club music. And I go, oh. And I go, how do you know all these words? He goes, I just... 
this is the kind of music that we played at every party that I was going to, where I grew up at, and, you know, with my family. Because this is, like, very typical of what Alex grew up with. I mean, he was, like, he and his brothers were, like, Carlitos in the front, you know, when they were growing up. I mean, they were the ones that were sitting around on the floor, you know, playing games and stuff like that when um, the adults were singing and dancing and all that kind of stuff. And I said, did you? Because um, at a couple, at some points, like, the kids did get up and, like, sang, and they sang that, of course, they sang that happy, 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 happy song. Um, I said, did you guys dance and sing and stuff, like, when you were younger and do all, he goes, oh, yeah, we were, like, a big part of all of it. He was, like, Maya and Nina and all of us, and he was, like, my brothers. He was, like, we all did. He said Fufu was a little too young, um, but I think Fufu really missed being here this year. Because we FaceTimed him at uh, midnight, and um, he and his girlfriend and her sister were spending Christmas together in San Diego, and they, um, it was just the three of them, and they wore matching pajamas, <laughs> isn't that cute? And they were sitting around with a dog, and um, so I guess they opened, like, one present each at midnight, because Fufu was like, you know, I always grew up opening presents at midnight, so... Tanya, I was texting Tanya, and I said, um, I said, what are you doing? And she was like, I'm so tired. I said, I'm tired too. And she said, um, <laughs> and she goes, are you guys still up? And this was like at literally like 1145. And I said, yeah, I said, the crazy hour doesn't start until three. And I said, go look at my Instagram story. You'll see like how much fun it is. And she, <laughs> she said, I've been watching it. She goes, and it gives me anxiety. <laughs> she goes, I don't know how you do it. I was like, it's fun. <laughs> I told Caroline, I said, you should have come over because my cousin Caroline was texting me too. She and her son were watching Home for the Holidays. She and I, I think I talked about this on here, didn't I, last night? It's so weird. Like, I talk about something on here and then it's like, the next day it's like, you know, um, I don't even know that I said this, but you guys, I mean, how weird was it that I was talking about Laverne and Shirley was one of me and my mom's favorite shows ever, and then Penny Marshall died. Like, I think, and I was talking about Penny Marshall literally on here, and then, like, two days later, she passed away. I think it's so bizarre. And, um, I was just talking about Home for the Holidays, and Caroline and I were texting tonight, and I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, David and I are watching Home for the Holidays, because he's never seen it before. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and I was just talking about that on my vlog. I should talk about like winning the lottery on here or <laughs> that time my uh, YouTube channel hit a million subscribers. Maybe that'll happen. Happy, 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 happy. I love my in-laws so much. They are so fantastic. I mean, I'm I, joking because of that song, Happy, but, like, they are literally so happy, you know? Like, there's no fighting. There's, you know, like, I mean, like, I was talking on here about, like, the tension between my mom and my aunt sometimes at Christmas. There's none of that, you know? Like, Liliana and her sister, they probably sang together, just the two of them, on karaoke tonight, like, ten songs. They're really good singers, actually. And they were doing all these dances and stuff, and... You know, these three sisters that came with their, you know, families, they, like, I mean, they're all, everybody's just happy, you know? There's no, like, arguing, there's no fighting, there's no, like, complaining. I mean, it's just, everybody's happy, you know? It's like, I don't know, it's just, and I'm, I'm, it's pro I'm sure it's not like that all the time, but 10 plus years I've been part of this family, and I can tell you that any get-together, like, I don't ever remember there ever being arguing or fighting like that, you know? And I think there's just such an appreciation for family, and, um, I just don't ever, like, hear, you know, the same way that, like, I don't know. Me and my friends grew up complaining about having to spend time with our families. Like, I never hear that. You know what I mean? Like, never. Like, you know, Fufu wanted to be here for Christmas with his family. You know, Alex always wants to be with his family. You know, it's like family means so much to them. And, like, I don't know. It makes me really appreciate more of the family that I have, you know? This tea is so fantastic. Now, tomorrow morning, Alex and I will get up and, um, 
we will have cinnamon rolls and unwrap presents. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, you're gonna die, okay? <clears throat> so, because Alex went to bed early last night, he got up early today. He got up like uh, an hour or two before me and he was wrapped because he got all of his presents like that he had for me wrapped before I got up. So they were like, you know, ready. And then like we wrapped the other presents together later. But anyway, um, but he had like done my presents and some of his that he had to get done. He got those done like when I was like still sleeping and I got up. I come downstairs and you know what he did? He put up that Christmas tree for me. He knew how important that was for me. My husband put that Christmas tree up. Okay, my husband that could care less about a Christmas tree. He put that Christmas tree up and decorated it with our ornaments. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe he did this. It has all these birds on it that we had a couple years ago. I was, it, oh my God, my heart melted. I was like, my husband is so fantastic. I love him. Because he always says, he's like, I'm not romantic and I don't think that way and whatever. And I was like, Alex, this was you thinking about me. Like, this means a lot. Like, that's one of the, th like, the huge things that we've, like, worked on in counseling because he knows how important that stuff is to me. But, like, he just doesn't always think that way. And when I woke up and I saw that, I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe that he did this. This is the sweetest thing. His, uh, when his best friend came over, I go, Sarah, I go, you'll never guess. I woke up. Guess what? I woke up to. She's like, what? And I said, Alex put that Christmas, he put the Christmas tree up. She goes, he put the Christmas tree up for you? And I go, yeah, can you believe it? And she's like, oh my God, that's so sweet. And she goes, Alex. And he goes, it was no big deal. And I go, Alex, it wasn't a big deal. You don't like to do stuff like that at all. And he goes, it wasn't any big deal. I go, don't downplay it. I go, it meant a lot to me. And you, and you knew that it meant a lot to me. That's why you did it. I was like, I don't know, made me fall in love with him even more, you know? So we will get up tomorrow and we will open our presents and then um, we will uh, get ready and go over to my cousin's and then we will have dinner over there and open presents with her and then we'll come home and I'll be taking a nap. <laughs> And I'm not putting any videos up tomorrow except for my vlog. I just want to spend the day with my husband and my family tomorrow. And um, I just want to enjoy the day. So I will be back to doing videos um, on the 26th. But tomorrow, I will be, this vlog obviously is up. And I'll be filming the vlog tomorrow for the 26th. Um, because once we come home and stuff like that, I mean, I'm sure at some point he's going to be so exhausted. Like, this was the thing that was funny. It was like, tonight, he kept on saying how tired he was and how tired he was. But then, like, when crazy hour happened or whatever, he got real energetic. And I, I, I thought, oh, shit, he's going to want to stay till like, 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't know that I can do this. We literally got in the car, and I said, are you tired? And he goes, I am so exhausted. I could fall asleep right now. And we were uh, driving home, and I was listening to Chris... Christmas music that I know, and it was White Christmas by Rosemary Clooney. Oh, no, 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 no. First, it was um, Andre Bocelli, and it was Hark the Herald Angels Sing, and I said, I love him so much. I said, he reminds me, whenever I hear him, of my mom watching um, the uh, Midnight Mass the Vatican, and that was like one of our favorite things that we used to always do together, you know, that we would sit there and drink coffee and have the Midnight Mass in the background. And I said, I just, this song, for some reason, reminds me of that. I love Andre Bocelli, anyway. Have you guys ever, he's fantastic. And I turn and I look over, and my husband's like this. He's like asleep up against the window. It was so funny. And we got home, and I said, babe, I said, we're home. We have to go inside. He goes, could you please take the dogs outside? And I said, yeah, sure. I have he goes, and can you give PPS medicine? I said, yeah, of course. I said, just go to bed. I said, you're tired. Go to bed. I said, I'm going to take care of the dogs, and then I will go vlog. And then I said, I'm going to come home, and I will go to sleep, too. He goes, okay. He's, like, walking up the stairs so slow. He was so tired. Anyway, um, so that's what we'll do tomorrow, and it'll be fun. And it's been a good Christmas, you know. I didn't do everything I wanted to do. Sarah tonight was asking, she's like, did you guys ever make it to Christmas at the zoo? Because we had talked about doing that. And I said, no, we didn't end up doing any of those things. I said, but we had a good Christmas season. We had fun, you know? I think tonight was really nice. I didn't go into it with any expectations. I didn't go into it thinking it was going to be any certain way or not, you know? And I think because of that, it was really nice. Um, everything about it was nice, you know? It was just fun. It was laid back. It was chill. I mean, 
until like the music got crazy but I mean but it was still chill you know because all I did was just sit there and you know drink Dr. Pepper and coffee and just watch everybody and laugh and take pictures and videos and stuff with people and it was fun you know like we had a good time it wasn't like I mean I literally like wore jeans and look this flannel shirt that I got you guys like last year now fits me and it didn't fit me before and it's loose on me so I wore this tonight and um, just some jeans and my Sperry's and um, everybody was like you and Alex are so dressed up although the one brother and his wife she literally came in like an evening gown I was like and then everybody else was like in like Christmas pajamas like pajamas that had like you know hilarious kind of stuff on it not everybody but a couple people did and um and Carlos was dressed down and Liliana I mean none of them were really that dressed up and um this girl walks in I'm like oh my god she looks like she's ready to go to a new year's dance she looked pretty she looked very pretty and her husband was kind of dressed up too so I think it's kind of fun that you know that she got dressed up like but I was telling Alex, I said, um, I said, she looks so pretty, doesn't she? Sure, hair like slicked back. It was really cool. And um, I said, you know, back in the day, like for my Christmas Eve's when I was growing up, I and mean, we always got really, really dressed up. He goes, we used to, we used to get dressed up too on Christmas Eve. Because I don't really know when that stopped. But it was fun. We had a great time. I mean, did you guys have a good Christmas Eve? I hope so. Now we got to think about what we're going to do going into 2019, all of us, you know. Happy, 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 happy. Do you guys know that song? I love that song. It's so cheesy. Whenever Carlos does a karaoke machine, if there are kids there, they always request that song and they always want to all of them sing it together. And they don't know any of the words except for just that part. <laughs> and I don't know any of the words except for just that part. Life is good, you know. It's funny, Alex and I have brunch today. I said to him, I said, if you could have anything in the world for Christmas, money wasn't an issue, what would you have? And he said, I would love for us to like take a trip tomorrow, like leave tomorrow to go to somewhere tropical destination. And I said, well, we're doing that. Like in March, we're going to Florida and then we're going to Miami. He goes, no, I mean like tomorrow, like I'd like to, you know, Fiji or the Maldives or something like that. And I said, yeah, that would be fun. He goes, and I want to get tickets to Coachella. And I go, that's all you would ask for? No Louis Vuitton, no Gucci. He goes, I mean, he goes, that stuff is fun. And he goes, but I don't really feel like I need it anymore. I was like, I'm kind of rubbing off on him a little bit, I think. He goes, why, what do you want? And I go, I don't know. I said, you know, I said, it's weird when you get to the point when there's always something out there that you see, you know, that you think, well, this would be fun to have, or I'd like to have that kind of car. Or, uh, actually, there was a gunmetal, because I love the gunmetal gray anything car, and there was a Range Rover, like, sitting right outside where we were sitting, and I go, because before I'd said that gunmetal color on that Range Rover is beautiful. And um, so he goes, well, would you have, like, a, a Range Rover? And I go... I don't, I just like, if none of that stuff is really that important to me anymore. I, I said, I think you, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I would love to have one, you know? I think that would be a nice car to drive, obviously. But I said, you know, you kind of get to the point where it's like you realize, like, I don't really, there's not really any of this stuff that I really need that much anymore, you know? And yeah, it's nice and it's pretty, but at the same time, it's like, don't get me wrong. I don't like pass judgment on anybody that likes that stuff. And I like it too. You know, if I had the money to, to buy that stuff, I would, I'm not going to sit here for two seconds and act like a bullshit artist. You know, if tomorrow I, you know, in, inherited from some long lost, you know, relative or, uh, <laughs> cause none of my relatives have that kind of money or, um, you know, one in the lottery, a hundred million dollars or something, you better bet your ass I'd be driving a really fine car, taking trips first class everywhere and carrying, you know, upscale bags. I just would, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, 
that stuff has kind of lost its meaning to me over time. Like, it's nice to see and be like, oh, that's, you know, that'd be fun to have that. But I think when I was younger, like, I really strived for that stuff. Like, I wanted it, you know? Like, I went through these phases of, like, of being kind of, like, beaten-ish and hippie-ish where that stuff didn't mean anything to me to then the other opposite end of being, like, completely, like... I don't know. I, the word superficial I don't love because I think that it makes it sound like you're fake. I don't mean it like that. I just mean where things were important to me. Like, the kind of car you drive. Like, like that stuff's just not that important to me anymore. I don't really think it says anything about my character, you know? And I feel like I've also, like, met so many people in my life that, um... I don't know. Like, I have a couple friends of mine that I've been friends with for 20 years, you know, that, like... When you see them, it's always that. Like, oh, look at my new Louis Vuitton bag I got. You know, and it's like, gal, I love you for so much more than just that bag. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But do I mean, but don't get me wrong, I love that stuff. You know, I look at it all the time and I see it and I think it's fun and, you know. And the reality is I've just kind of accepted it because I can't really afford that stuff. I don't really, you know, like, I don't know, like, if I had a ton of money, like, what I would spend it on. Tra I really think I would just travel. I would fix up our condo. I wouldn't move our condo, you know? I wouldn't. The condo is perfect for us, but I would get everything redone. I would get, first of all, I would get a whole new bathroom redone in there and have just a, an amazing shower with like things coming from everywhere. And I'd have a garden bathtub put in and, um, you know, like just have the whole condo redone. That's what I would do. And then I would travel and I would buy Alex a place in, you know, Florida and Miami, some penthouse because he really wants that. And, you know, then I would just travel. I think that's what I would do if I had a ton of money. And that's what he said today. He's like, you know, I want to have experiences with you. I want to, you know, have more of traveling. He was like, that, you know, was what we said we were going to do last year. And he was like, we took three really nice trips this year. He's like, I would like to focus more on that. He's like, because when you and I get away, he was like, that's when we really, you know, um, are the best together. So, and I agree. We've been so close lately, though. It's been good. You guys, I'm almost out of that pumpkin chapstick, and I've been using this orange again. There was something else I wanted to say about that, and now I can't remember what it was. We were talking about the trips, and... What did I say when he was asking me if I could spend? What did he say? Oh, it's gonna stop a one. Um, we were sitting at brunch and I asked him if money wasn't an issue. What we used to spend? It kind of surprised me, yeah, that he said that experiences and travel and stuff like that. kind of like a nice point though when you get to the point where you're like I don't know I don't think it means anything like you've evolved I don't really think that I think it's kind of like an acceptance of what you can afford and the difference between your needs and your wants um, and I think for a really long time that idea was skewed for me that I didn't know the difference between my needs and my wants and I would spend money on things I didn't need you know and live in the hole, and I don't, that's just not worth it to me today. I'd rather be debt free and not have to worry about things than have some things that I want and be worried about money, you know what I mean? Like that's just um, where I'm at today. so hungry 
for Caroline's macaroni, or not macaroni, not macaroni and cheese. No, I'm not hungry for that. I hope to God I get over there tomorrow and she's joking and she did not make my, I can't believe she would make grandma's macaroni and cheese. She said it to me on the phone today like twice. I was like, and she said it the other day too. And I'm like, she has to be joking because she knows I don't like that. And she kept on saying, I made it for you. I'm like, Caroline, you know that I don't like it. She goes, I know. But she's like, I made it. I'm like, she did not make this grandma's macaroni and cheese. But I cannot wait to have some of Caroline's um, mashed potatoes. They are so good. I don't know if she makes them or Mike makes them, but they are so delicious. They're like some of the best mashed potatoes I've ever had in my entire life. You guys like mashed potatoes? Oh my God. What is your favorite Christmas food? Put it below. And I never did get peppermint ice cream. Damn it. There's nowhere open now. I can't get it anywhere. Oh well. Is Walmart still open on Christmas Day? Should we drive by and see? I bet it's not. Or Christmas Eve. Walmart cannot truly be open this late on Christmas Eve. But if it is, I'm going in there and I'm getting some peppermint ice cream. I can't, it's not open. Stations closed. I can't believe we're coming up on uh, Christmas is tomorrow. We are watching this on Christmas, and then it's New Year's, and then it's 2000. I get well, New Year's, and then it's 2019. Can you guys believe it? You gotta start thinking about your goals for 2019, what you want to accomplish in 2019. I know Walmart's not open, so I'm going to. Uh, get off here and uh, head home and um, get a good night's sleep as much as there's left. Six hours and five, six hours and um, unwrap my presents with my husband. I'm like debating on whether or not I want to say on here what I got my husband. I got him two gift cards um, because like kind of not $500 gift cards, but I got him like nice gift cards from um, two stores that he really, really likes. One online and the and then Urban Outfitters because he loves it. And then I got him, um, we were, when we walked through Lucky the other day, there was this sweater, this sweatshirt sweater in there and it had like this deer on the front of it. And he saw it when we walked in and he loved, he was like, ooh, I really like this. And um, he also really liked this sweater at Lucky, and it was like red, white, and blue, and it said Coca-Cola on it. But they didn't have that in his size. Everything at Lucky was 50% off. I actually got a flannel shirt for tomorrow, very much like the one that I was wearing before, but I got this, the, the red one um, that I had like before yesterday. I, um, but everything was 50% off. And then if I signed up for their like whatever, um, something, I got another 10% off. So I got 60% off. Uh, maybe it was 10% off the most expensive item. I can't remember an addition, but I'm so worried that every time I touch this camera, it's gonna turn off. But anyway, um, so the sweater that he wanted was like 79, so I got it for 40, and um, which I thought was really good. And then, um, cause we kinda said we weren't gonna go all out and I did some extra things for him, so. Um, but I found, are you, uh, get ready, okay? I searched high and low and I found the sweatshirt hooded, the hooded sweatshirt robes that we had when we stayed at Unico in Mexico. I found them. And um, so I ordered, they, and they weren't expensive either. And I, I almost ordered two, one for me and one for him, but I wanted to see it first because if like, he doesn't end up liking it, he can return it. But I, so I didn't want to get two. But if he likes it, then I'll get a matching one. I'm so excited. I opened the box today before I wrapped it and I was like, oh my God, it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. And it's exactly like the ones that we had there. So I'm really excited about that because around the house, like he wears, he's been wearing like a t-shirt and underwear and then he's got his big blue. My dad got us these restoration hardware robes a couple years ago. Um, my dad got us two different robes. Well, maybe Alex got us the, 
the brown ones from Restoration Hardware, I can't remember. But my dad got us monogrammed robes, like white ones, really nice big robes. And um, mine, because it didn't fit at the time, it probably would fit me now, it's still in the plastic package in the closet. Um, but Alex wears his brown robe all the time, and he just wears like a t-shirt and like underwear like, around the house, he wears his brown robe. It's kind of sexy. And um, so I was like, he wear, he loves wearing this robe around the house. So I was like, I'm gonna get him, um, like while he's doing chores and like, you know, laundry and stuff, he, or if he gets up to take the dogs out, he just throws on this robe. So I'm like, I'm, he loves this robe. So I wanted to find this Unico robe so bad. And somebody even emailed me because I had said it in here. That's a travel agent. Thank you so much for going to the trouble of trying to find this. And she could she contacted Unico, Unico, and they didn't know. And I mean, I was like, when I got the email, I was like, this is so fantastic that somebody is so nice that they did this. So thank you so much. Um, but I found the robes. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. So, um, yeah, that's like the that's kind of like my heartfelt present to him. And then the shirt is just whatever, because he likes to have stuff like that. And then the gift certificates are for him to shop, because he loves to shop. And his mom gave him money tonight, and then Sarah got him a gift card. So he's gotten like a couple different gift cards, so he'll be set. My dad and my stepmom, they usually get us like something matching. Like they always get us like the same thing. Like last year they got us the both identical watches. Was that last year or the year before? Maybe that was the year before, I can't remember. I think it was last year. But then they got us gift certificates too. Like two or three years ago, my dad, like he went and got us like these car wash packages for like months on end and Alex literally still uses it. like. It's some, like, I don't know, like, car washes for a year or something crazy. Was that last year, too, that he did that? That must have been last year, then, because Alex has been using that. He goes, like, every week. I'll, like, he'll be coming home on a Friday. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm going to get my car washed. He gets his car washed literally, like, every week. He is, his, Alex's car, like, both of us on the inside, we are so weird about keeping our cars clean. But, like, his, like, my outside, y'all know, because the windows and stuff, they're not clean. Alex's car is spotless. Spotless all the time. Christmas Eve. It's crazy. All right, you guys, listen, I'm going to get off here and um, Walmart is not open, so I won't be getting, I'm like looking at it right there. So I won't be getting any peppermint ice cream unless the other entrance is open, but I doubt that. Let's see. No, Walmart's closed. Is Meyer open? Walmart is over there and Meyer is over here. I know people think that's funny when I know Meyer's closed. There's one car in the whole parking lot. But literally, Tanya and I will go to Meyer and then go across the street to Walmart. So I'm gonna get off here now and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna upload uh, the vlog and um, post it so that I can have it up fairly early tomorrow for those of you that are out there and you don't have a bunch to do today anyway. Um, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic Christmas. I will vlog later tonight so I can tell you all about how my cousins was and what happened between Alex and I on Christmas, and all that, what he got me and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm excited about it. But anyway, it'll be fun tomorrow and then just sit around and watch some movies and take naps and stuff. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday. I love you so much. You guys mean so much to me and it really means the world to me that you have watched my vlogs throughout the year, participated. I can't believe we're almost at the end of my second year of vlogging on here. I was looking today, last year I like messed up, If you, I don't know if you remember, but like I messed up like the day it's like we got to the end of the year and I was like or I got to the end of the year and there was only like 362 days when I'm not stupid it should be 365 but today I looked and I'm like I think it's gonna be right if it's wrong again it makes me wonder did something happen with the calendar I don't know but anyway um so it has been such a great year so I'm not I'm not stopping it I'm going into 2019 I'm gonna continue to do this I plan to vlog for as long as I possibly can for as long as people are watching, I'll continue to vlog, you know, because I love doing this and it means the world to me that you guys have watched it and allowed me to come into your home and into your lives with my stories that are, you know, sometimes repetitive, sometimes foolish and 
Um, but I hope also, you know, funny and sometimes endearing. And thank you for allowing me to be part of your lives. I love you guys and I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas. Bye-bye.